What's up everyone? It's a new day. And there's no more motor in the truck or transmission. And, well, I've made a decision to just go ahead and sneak this big block that was meant for that thing, the drift bar, into the tow bar because the drift car still has a long way to go. And I'll just build another motor while I'm doing other things. And I just happen to have everything to big block swap this truck. I got big block truck headers. I got intake manifold. I got brand new Hughes camshaft. This one. Set of lifters. Uh, set of cylinder heads. These are closed chamber cylinder heads. Ah. Yeah, I used to run them on that thing when it had a 413 in it. They've also been ported already. And they're actually port matched for that intake manifold. It'd be nice if this was a dual plane for the truck, but meh, it'll be fine. It'll still make plenty of torque without a dual plane. And I happen to have another big block transmission and I think I can just change this tail housing because I have a gear vendor anyway. So yeah, but right now I'm gonna tear this down and I'm gonna do the Uncle Tony piston swapperoo. So I'm gonna get started on that. Thanks for coming by guys. Thanks for watching my bullshit. I'm gonna make some more of it. As you can see, this is a fresh build. This is a factory crank. It's been balanced for this rotating assembly that's in here. These are factory connecting rods, new old stock. They're brand new, never been ran. Uh, the pistons are just some speed pros or something. I don't know, some Chinese forged bullshit, I'm sure. I forget. <clears throat> and I say that because even if the pistons were built in America, the steel wasn't. Steel still comes from somewhere else. So, I mean, they may have been machined by Americans, but still Chinese shit. Anyway, I'm gonna take it apart. I'm gonna take it apart, cause it's fun. This motor's actually been upgraded to all ARP hardware too. Even though it's basically full of factory components, everything's factory except pistons. Looks like the machine shop actually used torque lube. That was nice of them. I gotta find my dead blow. I've already done that enough to my handle. But somewhere I have a dead blow. It always escapes me. Here's a big one. Oh. Tried a new coffee blend. It's only four dollars instead of eight dollars. Means you could buy more engine parts or quad parts or and by quad I mean drone, whatever else you're into. I personally have every hobby under the sun. There's not many I don't have. A great clean. Even if it's a hobby that I don't partake in, I probably know enough about it that I could start doing it. Interesting. Brand new. I'll show you why I'm taking apart a brand new motor. I shouldn't set that on the ground. Find my smaller dead blow. I need my smaller dead blow. You can see here how this piston pin is offset. We got a two finger gap here and almost, well, we got a full two fingers here and you know, a finger and some over there. So we're going to take it in the motor from the number one side and put it on the number two side and flip it around. So the chamfer on the connecting rod matches up with the chamfer on the crank and that offsets the piston pin and leans it further into the crank so you get work done sooner per compression stroke. Just ask Uncle Tony, he'll tell you. I'm done telling you. Those are my reasons and I am sticking with them. I've never tried it personally and I'm gonna. It would be pretty easy, but I gotta take off all the all the piston rings and swap them on the pistons because I'm sure they, they should have been. File fit per bore. And I'm taking this apart because the first time I took it to the machine shop and went to go do this, I found a, a broken piston ring on a second ring. They just straight up put it together with a broken piston ring. There's like at least an inch and a half of the piston ring missing. And that's, that was pretty lame. So kind of taking it apart for two reasons. One, to swap the pistons around. Two, fucking dirt in there. Two, uh, I'm gonna inspect their work. Oh, hey, look, they're numbered even. Number two. Thanks guys. I mean, this this motor is nothing fancy. Just balanced, forged, and ready to go. I'll just have to build another one for this thing back here whenever, I mean, I still need to do the whole front end. It needs suspension, it needs wheels, it needs tires. I need a truck. I need a truck. Um, one, one. 
one, three, five, seven. One, three, two, four, six. V8. So anyway, I'm gonna turn on some music and then uh, I'll speed this up. Oh, I almost lost my nuts. Number three. I'll definitely clean all this before I reassemble. All of it, it's gotta be cleaned again. What am I gonna do about that? Why are these ones so sticky? See that right there? That's me. The best woman in the world made this for me. Why am I having trouble with these last? Oh, I don't want to drop that bearing. My hand doesn't fit. Oh, I should have a smaller dead board. Number seven. Ah. Number eight. That's it. That's that. I gotta clean everything. And then uh, I'm gonna pop one of these main caps, plastic gauge it, just for shits and giggles, and put it back together. Stick around. I don't know what they use for assembly lube, but it's, it's good shit. Probably just, it feels like a uh, motor, honey. Whatever, uh, the Lucas oil stabilizer, or whatever, whatever it is. What is that fucking shit? Uh, Hilton's hyper lube, or one of those things. That's what it feels like. Alrighty, got everything out of the bores. All the pistons, they're on the table. I took the piston rings off number one and put them on number two, because I'm sure they're file fit for the bore. So this piston is gonna end up the number two piston, and number two is gonna go number one and three is gonna become four, and four, and three, and so on and so forth. That's, that's the Uncle Tony piston swaparoo. It only works with pistons with, that, that still have a piston pin offset. You can see this space is dramatically different size. You know, this is almost two fingers. This, this is less, less than. Technical measurement. I'd get calipers, but I don't give a shit. I just know it's different. But you gotta put the number one in the number two well, that's number one. This is number two. And then you gotta make sure you put your uh, chamfer of your connecting rod towards the counterweight of the crank because that's what it's clearanced for. See, this side's different. Not the same, different. Not the same, different. The idea behind that being it leans the connecting rod at a better angle to the crank to give more push, which means more work sooner in the combustion stroke. From what I understand, I could be totally fucking wrong. And I mean, even Uncle Tony says it's something that won't even show up on a dyno, just in your butt dyno. Makes the engine more responsive, quicker, quicker responsive. That's, that's nice, man. And you know, compounding drool. You use every trick you can to make the shit work better. It's called hot rotting. So anyway, I'm gonna slam these back in the holes. And uh, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I think I even have an oil pan and shit for this thing. I'll find out. I need to go rummage through my parts bin.